Hi guys, welcome to another Filmora Trial tutorial on my channel. In this video, we're going to learn how to use the split screen effect in Filmora Trial. Okay, so with Filmora Trial, we have many new split screen templates and they are not just the basic one and they have split screen template for sport and comic and love and festival or stuff like that. Okay, so let me show you how to use it. And for those of you who don't have Filmora Trail, I will put the link in the description for you to download it. And if you want to purchase the software, don't forget to use my 20% discount coupon code to save your money. Okay, so let's go. Alright, so this is my Filmora Trail user interface. And being mentioned that this is the classic layout. Okay, so if you want to change the layout, you can click this button to change the layout in Filmora Trail. I'm familiar with the classic layout, so I will select the classic one okay and the next thing you want to import some footage that you want to use for your split screen video all right so now in order to create a split screen video you need to click this button template okay and then you can find the split screen subfolder right here and now they have many new split screen template not just the basic one okay you can just click here at this drop down menu to see more template and this is the basic one here they have about 30 basic split screen by the way now they have social media split screen which is very interesting and they have split screen template for game log and sport comic and mock-up and also love and festival okay and they even have the split screen for end screen also all right so let's start with the basic one so if you want to create a basic split screen video all you need to do is to find a template here and then you can click this button to download it for example i want to use this one one two three okay and then you can just drag and drop it onto the timeline and here's the template it is just a box to contain your video okay so first thing, if you want to adjust the duration of the split screen, all you need to do is to click here at the end of the split screen and then straight it out. Okay, for example, I can make it about 10 seconds like this and play. Okay, and now you want to drag and drop your video to here to this position. One, two, three, or image is this also okay. Okay, so let's click okay. And then you want to go back to your media. For example, I want to use this video at position number one. I can just drag and drop it right here. And I can click the video on the preview window. And then I can adjust the scale. Okay, for example, I can scale it up and down with this button. Very nice, right? And if I want to mute the audio, I can click this audio button. Okay. If I want to delete this video, I can click this button, just button. Okay, so it is very simple, right? Okay, and we can just drag and drop it again to the split screen template. Okay, something like this. And for this position and this position, I can use another one. For example, this is an animated green screen image. I can just drag and drop it right here. And for this one, I can use my camping video. Okay, just put it right here. Very nice. And now we have a split screen video with just some click okay so if you want to customize this split screen template uh, such as the color of the split screen the scale and animation or stuff like that you want to double click at the split screen on the timeline okay and now you have all the property of the split screen right here for example if you select the video you can adjust the border of the split screen also the transform position and scale and rotation or stuff like that okay for example if i want to change this border to different color i can select it here for example i can click more and then i can change the color border to red and then i can click ok so this is the new border for the split screen and let's play it and if i want to keyframe the scale and position of the split screen all i need to do is to select the split screen here and then i can click here add one keyframe okay i can add one keyframe and then i can add another keyframe at this position okay i can just click here add another keyframe and now i can adjust the scale to zero okay so we create two keyframes for the split screen let's play it very nice right and being mentioned that you can also adjust the color of the split screen adjust the animation and doing some other thing with this template okay for example i can delete this keyframe for example 
okay and now if i want to adjust the color of all the video in the split screen all i need to do is to click the color tab right here and then i can apply a new LUT for it or i can increase or reduce the temperature of the video okay you see that it changes the color of all the video inside the template and i can also increase or reduce the exposure also and let's go back to the video and you can also add animation to this split screen also okay you can just click here at the animation tab and then you can select preset animation or motion it's up to you for example i can go back to preset motion and then i can select this boom motion for the split screen just double click here okay and here's the effect with the split screen animation and also the motion very nice right and let's click ok add it to that if you want to control the video or image inside the split screen you can go to advanced edit okay for example here at the split screen you can just right click at the split screen box on the timeline and then select this option advanced edit okay so this is the advanced split screen edit uh, in Filmora trial so have you have multiple track on the timeline here and you have the play button okay and you can go back one frame and go forward one frame and you can also zoom in and zoom out the timeline like this and on the right side you have the property of the material inside the split screen for example if i select this video okay so just zoom in the timeline a little bit if you select this video you have uh, an option here at the video tab and you can scale it up and down you can see this is the the video okay so this video and you can scale it up and down and you can even add keyframe to it for example i can add keyframe at this position and at this position i can scale it up a little bit so it will create a new keyframe for it okay and at the audio tab here you can increase or reduce the volume of this video separately okay for example i can mute the audio of this video and let's play it it has no audio right and at the color tab you can adjust the color of this video only okay for example i can reduce the temperature of this video okay something like this and you can see it it is different right and this is warmer and this is cooler okay and for the animation you can also change the animation of this video inside your split screen all right so let's click apply to go back to your timeline okay so this is how you can create and customize your split screen in filmora trail right very nice and let's use another split screen template to create new video okay just go back you to your template for example if i go to game uh let's say i want to use this one i need to download it okay all right and now i can put this template on the timeline to use it okay and i can just right and drop it right here and then i can click ok and now i can go back to my media to try and drop some material inside the, this template and being mentioned that with Filmora Trail you can also use stock media to create split screen video for example you can go to stock media and then you can find a video or image here as pixel or pizza bay it's, it's up to you for example I can use this one all I need to do is to try and drop it into the, the template right here okay so I have a new video here and then I can use another video for this one very nice right all right so this is the first option to create split screen video in Filmora trail and there's another option which is very interesting is to use the freehand mask or the mask option in Filmora trail so let me show you how to do that for example we have a video here okay and we can keep the project setting so we have a new video here on the timeline and now we can draw a mask here but by the way we want to put another video on top of it first okay and we have two video on the timeline so remember to overlay them first okay and for this video i can create a mask here so that we have two separate video on the timeline okay to do that we can just double click at the first video here and then select mask and now we have some option here reset mask or freehand mask but now for, for now i can select this one linear mask okay and then i can adjust the mask rotate it and then i can increase the blur strength okay okay so this is also a split screen video with the mask option okay 
Very nice, right? All right, so this is how to create a split screen video with Filmora Trail. I hope this video is helpful for you. If you have any more questions, just let me know in the comment section below. If you like the video, hit the like button. And if you are new here, consider to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.